And welcome back, welcome to week seven. Today is the last of our simulation classes, simulation three, MPM, or material point method, if you prefer. So let's dive straight into it and address the elephant in the room. What the hell is MPM? MPM is sometimes called the universal solver, although that's not terribly accurate. What it is is a new way to do simulations that allow you to combine a whole bunch of different kinds of simulation. Sand, snow, fluids, cloth, fibers, all of that kind of thing all run in, inside the same simulation engine. Now don't worry, um, the NPM system is like every other simulation node in Bifrost. It's very, very similar to everything. You'll already know how to use it if you've been through the last week, last week's video or in the class last week. The very first thing I should probably address is how does it do this? What, what, how does NPM work? Well, I happen to have a slide here. So as you can see in the top left corner, it starts off with material points. There's your material point with the material point method and a voxel grid takes the point properties and projects them onto the voxel grid. Then motion vectors or whatever else you're doing are calculated on the grid points, so on the voxel grid itself. Then those updated motion vectors are interpolated back to the material points and then the material point properties are updated. This is how the material point method can solve almost anything. As long as you've got points in a voxel grid, which it'll provide for you then you can solve anything. 